I'm getting paid to deliver this vehicle behind me halfway across the country. And in this video, I'm going to see if it's worth it or not. No way, dude, it's cold. This is the vehicle that we get. My friend's place in Montreal now. Welcome back to the Financial Freedom System YouTube channel where I help you upgrade your mindset, money, and more so you can live a life full of financial freedom and purpose. In this video, I'm testing out a side hustle that's actually really, really neat. And it happens more than you realize. Sometimes dealerships pay their employees to deliver the vehicle. Sometimes people use websites where you can hire a driver or even be the driver too. And sometimes you might be talking to someone who just bought a car halfway across the country and you volunteer to drive it back yourself. All for a YouTube video, of course. So I flew to Toronto to get the keys for this car and now I'm headed home the 1600 kilometer or 1000 mile journey. I'm about to call the owner, tell him that I've got the keys and then I'm ready to hit the road. So let's give him a call. Go past this light, then at the next one turn right. Look at that. What's that say? Look at that. What does that say? Oh, that's me. Massage! Yes! Put that thing on. Put that on. No way, dude. It's cold. <laughs> Did you ask the guy? I didn't ask him, no. Dude, it's actually I didn't think going. About it. I just saw that. Yo, it's actually going. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying! <laughs> no! While we're here, it's a good time to introduce you to my best friend, Caleb. He decided to jump in on this trip and uh, go on an adventure, I guess. And uh, Caleb, thanks for being here. Pumped. All right, so I think we go grab some food and then figure out where we're gonna stay tonight. Does that sound good? Sounds good. Okay. What we need to do is find a hotel. So I'm gonna jump onto my Marriott app and uh, we're looking at Belleville. We're gonna book this place. So we're all set. We're going to check out Foodie World and then we're gonna make our way to Belleville. Another hour and a half. just arrived at our hotel in Belleville and uh, day one is done. Now, I don't think we really filmed too much. Caleb's here as well. And um, I don't know, how was the day? Good, long but good. Long but good. Uh, we didn't film that much, but we'll try to get up to some things tomorrow and uh, bring people along. I think we're gonna hit the hay. It's like 11.20 here, 12.20 our time. So we're gonna get some rest. So it's the morning of day two, and before we get going, I wanted to give you a tour of this incredible vehicle that we're driving, and it's basically a limo. This is the vehicle that we get to drive, and it's basically like a limousine here. You can see it's a Volvo SUV, the XC90, but it's the, uh, the excellence model. So it's a hybrid T8. It is beautiful. Take a look. When you step in, I mean, it's got the new thank you mats in it but this is the vehicle you can see it nice leather seats it's got all the bells and whistles uh, so it's been a lot of fun to drive yesterday v extremely well finished um, lots to talk about but take a look at these back seats two captain seats in the back let me give you a better view of those here you go I've never been in a vehicle with just two seats and uh, it's pretty incredible. It's got a freezer back here. Obviously there's some storage with, I don't know, these trays. Maybe I can figure out how to use these that pop down so you can ride in style or have somebody drive you around, I guess, and you can do some work. It's also got this really neat 
fridge feature here where you can keep things cool. And obviously you've got these cool kind of champagne glasses, which is exciting. Celebrate whatever you want to. Take you to the back. You've got your trunk. It is a hybrid, so you've got your adapters there. You got some different storage pieces as well. And uh, this car is really, really cool. We have everything. Check. All right? I'm good. Got a beautiful day, that's for sure. Yeah. Hopefully, less traffic than the last night. All right, we're just coming up to Kingston, Ontario now. This is where we wanted to make it last night, but because of traffic, we weren't able to. Just see second, stay hanging. How are things going? Good. Um, dude, traffic last night going through Toronto was packed at nine o'clock at night. It was wild. Oh, so, wow. so we, we wanted to get to Kingston. We didn't. We got to Belleville, which is like 50 minutes from Kingston. So we still got some distance in. So we've just stopped, filled up some gas. We are now officially in the second province. I wonder how much this costs. 350. hours, spend some time here, and have some fun. So we're downtown Montreal right now, walking around St. Catherine Street, and then hopefully catching some Bixie bikes. I'm gonna see if I can find a place for us to stay tonight. So my goal is to check Edmonston, New Brunswick out. That's just across the border from Quebec into New Brunswick. Um, I'm gonna jump into my Marriott app and see what that's going to be. I've got a lot of videos about why I stay only at Marriott properties, if I can, and how I can really travel hack them and get the most out of those experiences. So tonight, let's do this, absolutely. Um, that kind of surprises me. The rate's way better than I expected. Last minute promotion, yeah, let's do that. So you can see here, I don't know if you can see that or not. $161 and 87 cents. So book now, we're all set. All right, take Dude, a look at this. Okay, what do you think? Can't wait. I don't eat it often, but like this cheese is incredible. So squeaky. Will we make it? How frozen are you?
Today we passed through three provinces. We started our day out in Belleville, Ontario. We moved through to Quebec. We surprised my friend. We had a lot of fun in Montreal for a few hours. And then we got all the way to Edmonston, New Brunswick, which is setting up for a nice day tomorrow to get the car delivered. But first, it's uh, two in the morning here. It's time to get some sleep. Here. Where do you want to grab food? Tim let me know and uh, we'll link up but yeah we see the uh, mountain road signs right now so we're back in Moncton. Oh gee you made it. Yeah. The, how's the ride? Amazing. Yeah it was pretty, it was a lot of fun. That's very, good. Very jealous. So good. <laughs> yeah. We just got back from the road trip and the question was is it worth it to get paid to deliver a car? Yes or no? What do you think? Um, with, uh, with my best friend and this nice car, it was worth it. Would you do it again? Honest thoughts, what do you think? Maybe, it depends. If I did it full time, then I would expect to do it in a timely manner. Hmm. But if I was kind of doing it as a side hustle, maybe I'd want to do it more relaxed so I could enjoy um, the journey a little bit more. Right, like stop like we did a few places. And we wish we could have stopped more, actually. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, I 100% agree with you there. And I think that uh, for my reflections that this was something I had a lot of fun. Uh, I enjoyed. It was a beautiful vehicle, beautiful ride. We're definitely going to miss it. Um, but at the same time, like if I did this regularly, it would become a job. It's something fun. It was something that I did to investigate for the purpose of this video. And uh, for me, it was worth it. And in the future, it might be worth it depending on what vehicle it is, maybe the route I'm going, if I'm going a place that is new. Um, and if you can get your travel paid for and you get paid on top of that for the right price, I would do it again. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. Go ahead and drop a question or a comment down below. And please click the subscribe button if you're interested in learning more about how you can live a life full of financial freedom.